All right, joining me right now with more analysis, we have Fox News contributor DeRoy Murdoch and Democratic strategist Antoine Seawright. Good to see you both. I mean, DeRoy, couldn't we have done this on Friday? I didn't hear. I'm sorry. <laughs> couldn't we have done this on uh, Friday? In we other words, do we really have to go through all the drama over the weekend into today? We're still not officially reopened. We still have to have a couple more votes. I'm just saying they reached a deal to keep us open for three weeks. Why didn't we just figure this out last Thursday or Friday? You're right. It would have spared us uh, a lot of anxiety over the weekend. It would have given me one less article to write. Uh, people could have uh, <laughs> gone to uh, gone to the beach or the ski slopes or their uh, families' homes, whatever, and relax rather than worry about this uh, turning into a long shutdown. It turned out to be a big exercise in never mind, if you will, and mm -hmm. uh, Chuck Schumer uh, stood down very quickly. I really thought this would go on longer, but uh, Chuck Schumer caved, and I think people uh, in his base are probably not going to be very happy. Uh, McConnell and Trump and the Republicans stood up and, and uh, got their talking points unified, and uh, I think they won this one. Stood up? I mean, all we got are three weeks? I mean, we're going to be right back where we started, right? Nothing's actually been solved here. Antoine, um, are you frustrated at all with Chuck Schumer? Do you think that he should have held out? No, I'm not frustrated at all. I'm happy that our government is open. I'm happy that our parks are open. I'm happy that our military employees will get paid 1.3 million of them. I'm happy. The well, fact technically, that by the way, not yet. Get paid. Don't catch. You know what well, do they say? Don't, I'm don't happy catch your chickens before they hatch. Not yet, but I'm you're, happy that we're on. That I'm happy that we own the path. Point. I'm happy. <laughs> okay. I'm happy that we're on the path. You have to crawl before you walk, and this is the first step in crawling. What I'm more disappointed in is that we ha we got to this point, and we could have avoided this a long time ago had the Republican controlled. Congress uh, deal with what 90% of the American people want to do. That's deal mm -hmm. with an immigration bill. 70% of people want to make sure that CHIP has long-term funding. And the truth of the matter is, I think we need to make sure that every single year we have uh, a government funding bill that funds our government. All right, look, I don't know if we have the sound, but uh, if we do, we'll play it for you. Mitch McConnell was on the floor, and he said something pretty um, insightful in the Antoine he's saying you know a lot of Americans are saying why the heck did our government get shut down our military members threatened not to get their pay uh, all because you have the left fighting for people who are here illegally and while yes I know the polling all suggests all shows that everyone wants to find a solution for the dreamers the reality is you just shut down the government for the benefit of, of people who are here illegally, and, and that may not play so well in Peoria, as they say, Antoine. Trish, two things. Uh, keep in mind, there was a bill introduced on the floor, I think it was Friday night, maybe even yesterday, by two Democratic senators to make sure that our military members were paid during the shutdown period, and that was objected to by the majority leader. Um, that's number one. And number two, keep in mind that numbers do not lie, men and women do. And the numbers tell us, by way of votes that have been taken earlier this year, if the Republican-controlled Congress, House and Senate, wanted to pass a bill, they could have by way of simple numbers. And mm -hmm. the truth of the matter is, is that, the president it, has I wanna, blamed I, I want to fact-check you on that, though, with DeRoy. DeRoy, is he right that, in other words, they have the House, they have the Senate, therefore they should be able to get stuff done? Uh, no, that's not true. With, uh, on this particular measure, you need to get 60 votes, which mm -hmm. means that the 51 Republicans, now only 50 because John McCain is, is uh, in Arizona ill, they've got to pick up uh, 10 uh, Democrats. And of course, they lost a, a number of, uh, of Republicans. But mm -hmm. as it turns out, 97% uh, of House Democrats voted to shut down the government, and 92% of Senate Democrats voted well, to shut well, down keep, the government. Well, keep, so it, keep, it's, it's keep, shutdown, keep in mind that were, there were Republicans who voted against this measure as well. And so, again, my a point handful. is, yes, you, all have, to, you all have... Okay. Whether it's a handful, whether it's a half a Republican, you all have the numbers to keep the government, that could, could have kept, kept the government is, open. This is the if you the you're going to keep here. The block. GOP by itself does not have the 60 votes it would require to get this measure passed. You have to have some Democrats sure. go along, okay. and not enough of them did. So, so that's fact, the reality. So the now, now we're looking at this big blame game. You know, fortunately, we're going to push through this. And by the way, we're going to be right back here, I guess, in another three weeks. But nonetheless, well, we're going to limp takes, to the finish line. Who takes takes the blame here. I mean, the Schumer shutdown moniker um, was pretty good, but Chuck Schumer's calling it the Trump shutdown. DeRoy, you know, Americans don't like shutdowns. Nobody really, people see them as, as kind of needless, right? I mean, if well, you're, you're there it, to do your job, this doesn't happen. 
So it who ultimately been, pays the price? I think it would have been the Trump shutdown if President Trump had vetoed a spending bill and thrown us into this shutdown situation. As it was, he wanted to sign a measure, and the House, again, 97 percent of House Democrats and 92 percent of Senate Democrats voted to shut down the government. Roy, Roy, and, and, Roy, and Roy, Roy, not Roy, Roy, not Roy. Not Roy. Not Roy. Not Roy. Not if, they, if they had joined, if the Senate <laughs> Democrats had joined Senate Republicans, we wouldn't have had a shutdown. So right. I, I lay this entirely uh, at the feet of the Democrats. Entirely at well, the feet of the 90, Democrats, 90, and they're going to do vice versa. 92 percent. Thank you so much, guys. We got a market Chuck that's Schumer. still rallying despite all the shutdown talk. It's good to see you both, Antoine and DeRoy.